today we're gonna to talk a little bit about obsessions. A lot of times brides really are obsessed with a certain look or a certain design or a certain detail. When we have a bride that has a real obsession about a specific dress, it's really the consultant's job to try to get that fixation out of their head and try on something maybe out of the box. Maybe we can give them a new obsession. You know, they right. fall in love with some other kind of a look that really works that can change the whole way that they see themselves in a dress. Okay, so we're gonna have a great day. Fresh off the meeting, Christiana meets a bride who's obsessed with a very unique detail for her dress. Hi, Portia, Christiana. Yes. My name is Portia Child, and I'm here to pick out my wedding dress. Today I brought two of my friends, Karen and Teresa. So girls, come on in. So do you know what kind of style you like? Absolutely. Like, I'm the turtleneck queen. Are you? Um, <laughs> yes. I love turtlenecks. It's just been my favorite article of clothing. Every year for Christmas, my mom buys me turtlenecks. If they made turtleneck swimsuits, I would own one. And I'm set on having a turtleneck wedding dress. Is this your favorite? That is my favorite. Portia has a picture of a gown she really wants to see. Unfortunately, we don't carry that gown. But I thought you might carry it. No. I am surprised that Kleinfeld doesn't have my dress. Kleinfeld has like 17,000 dresses. Why don't they have my dress? All right, okay. so you definitely want a neckline. We have a very limited selection of high neck wedding gowns, and I'm not even sure that we have the style that she's looking for. So how'd you meet your fiance? I've known him since seventh grade. Oh my god. <laughs> 19 years. That's Next awesome. Year. It is awesome. My fiance's name is Eric Reed. We met in seventh grade and we connected again and started talking and I thought, wow, it's interesting we've never dated. And I told Eric, okay, well, if we're not married by the time we're 30, let's get married. So last year, I sent him a message and I said, hey, is our deal still good? And he wrote me back and said, yeah, next year will be 20 years, wow. um, but this May will just be our first full year together. So oh, wow. he works fast I and mean, it's been magic ever since. Where is the wedding? In Mexico, Playa del Carmen. We definitely want a beach wedding. We want a very small wedding. Nobody at the altar but the two of us. Price point, where are we comfortable? 4,500. Okay. All right, so I will be back, okay? okay? Yeah. All right. Christiana sets out to find Randy for what could be a difficult appointment. She's adamant about wearing a high neckline, some sort of turtleneck style. Okay. We really don't have that many dresses that are turtleneck. This is going to be a tough request. Right. While Randy's looking for the turtleneck dress, I'm going to steer her towards something a little bit more beach friendly. Let's try something new. <laughs> oh, but I love turtlenecks. All of my school pictures from like the past yearbook pictures, turtleneck, turtleneck every year. I think there might be a little, a little bit of an obsession. Come on, turtleneck. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Finally, Christiana convinces Portia to step out of her comfort zone in a strapless sweetheart gown. How do you feel in this? It, it actually looks a lot better than I thought it would look. Huh? Oh my goodness. Oh. You like the sweetheart? Yeah. yeah. I want a turtleneck. No turtleneck. <laughs> Things like Mexico with a collar. I know no. it's Mexico. But this but is a little too much for her. Yeah. The first dress wasn't a turtleneck. Definitely, definitely not me. Next. Next. Like for your wedding day, for this really special day that you should show this off but, and like do another different look so you can surprise people. No, he's gonna get to see everything afterwards. I mean, oh. it's gonna be. Portia's not sold on the V neck dress, but shows her friends anyway. Well, this is nice, but I'm not getting that wow, yeah. that wow factor. This dress is pretty forgettable. You know why? It doesn't have a turtleneck. <laughs> Let's keep going. Dress two was a unanimous no, so Christiana tries a one-shouldered goddess gown. Kind of a turtleneck. Uh, look, <laughs> look, look, we've got it! So you look like a Grecian, what is it? A Grecian, a Grecian goddess. goddess. Grecian goddess. It really feels like the way I want the dress to feel. It just needs a higher neck. Making it into a turtleneck. I thought that was extremely extreme. You like it though? Tell the truth. N not really. <laughs> I don't like it. I have got to try You're on just a missing another You've got sign. To convince me that I don't want a turtleneck. I'm trying my best. She definitely wants to wear a turtleneck. She made that very clear. So we're gonna find her a turtleneck. Like like this. Nothing. We don't have anything like that. I really want to see the turtleneck. I'm dying. You have to love this turtleneck. 
Christiana is at a standstill and enlists manager Nicole's help. So she wants, she wants, she like wants a, a turtleneck, like, like a Queen Anne she, look? Like a turtleneck, like a legit turtleneck. She's, I don't think she's gonna make a decision today without trying this on somewhere else. Unless she finds something that she loves more than that. Unless she won't even think about that dress. That'll just be an afterthought. That's what I'm trying to do. We have to, to beat that dress. Upstairs, Bride Portia's praying to the turtleneck gods. And her obsession has everyone running in circles. I don't know if we have any. I don't know if we have any. But just as hope was lost, Christiana stumbles across what may be the perfect gown. Oh, that's awesome. And I really, 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 really like this dress. <laughs> but they don't really, really love it. I do, I just feel like I have to see that other one. I'm a little bit hesitant because there is another dress, um, but it's in another store and I have to see it. I might put it on and it might look completely awful, but you have I to try don't. it. Yeah, exactly. Do they have that one? No, no, we don't have it. If they had it, if I would I had be it, I would. wearing it. When Portia put the dress on, she loved it. Unfortunately, she has another option she really loves. I don't want to walk away. Like, this one, Just thinking I like, love. oh, I should have yeah. tried and it if on. If that one is ugly, then I could totally commit to this one. If a bride has a photograph of a dress that she loves and we don't have that dress, I think it's going to be really difficult for that bride to make a decision without trying that dress on. If that other dress looks like this is the one. <laughs>